Welcome to the Issaquah School District Responsible Use of District Technology Regulations and Guidelines Training for the 2015-2016 school year. This training is a review of the Responsible Use Regulations and Guidelines that will be sent to you via email. It is meant to emphasize the expectations related to the access and use of electronic and digital resources for all staff of the Issaquah School District. The Issaquah School District Board of Directors believes that students need to be proficient users of information, media, and technology to succeed in a digital world and the practical challenges of life in a dynamic global environment. Therefore, the Issaquah School District will use electronic resources as a powerful and compelling means for students to learn core subjects and applied skills in relevant and rigorous ways. It is the district's goal to provide students with rich and ample opportunities to use and apply current and emerging technologies to extend their personal abilities and productivity. The ISD's technology will enable staff and students to communicate, learn, share, collaborate and create, to think and solve problems, to manage their work, and to take ownership of their digital lives. That goal for students notwithstanding, and even though the district supports the responsible use of technology to communicate for educational, and or work-related purposes, staff are prohibited from inappropriate online socializing or from engaging in any conduct on social networking websites that violates the law, district regulations, or other generally recognized professional standards or workplace rules. The purpose of district regulations and the guidelines handbook you will receive via district email is to ensure that all staff's use of the Issaquah School District's educational technology resources is responsible, legal, ethical, and consistent with the aims, values, and ends of the district and its responsibility to the students in its care. The district is an institution charged with the safety and education of children. It also has occupational health and safety obligations to employees and students and must comply with state and federal anti-discrimination and sexual harassment laws. It is thus of paramount importance that its educational technology resources are used responsibly, appropriately, and professionally at all times. District educational technology resources are to be used responsibly and not to be used for inappropriate activities. For example, pornography, fraud, defamation, breach of copyright, unlawful discrimination, harassment, including sexual harassment, stalking, privacy violations, and illegal activity, including illegal peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. The use of district educational technology resources carries with it responsibilities. Users must at all times remember that when using district educational technology resources, they are using educational technology resources provided to them for work-related and educational purposes. District Educational Technology Resources includes but is not limited to all district networks. Systems, software and hardware including district local area networks, wide area networks, wireless local area networks, Wi-Fi, intranet, extranet, ultranet, district email systems, computer systems, software, servers, desktop computers, printers, scanners, portable computers, notebook computers, tablets, mobile phones, portable storage devices, including digital cameras and USB memory sticks, handheld devices, and other educational technology storage devices. Electronic communications means email, instant messaging, and any other material sent electronically. The handbook you will receive via district email and are directed to read and adhere to applies to all users of district educational technology resources as defined on the previous slide, regardless of work location, and applies to all aspects of use of all district educational technology resources. For example, this can include publishing and browsing on the internet, downloading or accessing files from the internet or other electronic resources, email, electronic bulletins, notice boards, electronic discussion, news groups, blogs, social networking, file transfer, file storage, file sharing, video conferencing, streaming media, instant messaging, 
online discussion groups and chat facilities, subscriptions to list servers, mailing lists, or other like services, copying, saving, or distributing files, viewing material electronically, and printing material. Use of district educational technology resources must be used responsibly, meaning for district purposes only, or where authorized or required by law, or with the express permission of an authorized person, and also meaning comply with board policy, district regulations, and the guidelines handbook, as well as federal and state requirements which apply to the user. Responsible use may include limited personal use. Users of district educational technology resources may use the resources for personal use, provided the use is not excessive and does not breach district regulations or the handbook. Users must not engage in excessive personal use of district educational technology resources during working hours. Users must not engage in excessive personal use of district email systems or the internet using district networks outside working hours. A breach or failure of these constitutes a failure to abide by the responsible use guidelines in the handbook. In using district educational technology resources for personal use, users should be aware that the provisions that apply to access and monitoring of district educational technology resources apply to personal use as well. Responsible use can include reasonable union communications, provided that use is not unlawful, offensive, or otherwise improper. Users are allowed reasonable access to electronic communications using district educational technology resources to facilitate communication between employees and their representatives, which may include a union on matters pertaining to the employer-employee relationship. Depending on the nature of the irresponsible and thus inappropriate use of district educational technology resources, substantiated non-compliance on a more likely than not standard of district regulations or the handbook may constitute breach of employment obligations, serious misconduct, sexual harassment, unlawful discrimination, a crime, a threat to the security of the district educational technology resources, an infringement of the privacy of staff and other persons, or exposure to legal liability. Substantiated non-compliance on a more likely than not standard of regulations will be regarded as a serious matter and appropriate action including termination of employment may be appropriate. Where there is a reasonable belief that illegal activity may have occurred the district may report the suspected illegal activity to the proper law enforcement agency. This is in addition to individual staff mandatory reporting obligations. Responsible use reflects an understanding that communications become district property. Electronic communications created, sent, or received using district email are the property of the district and may be accessed by an authorized person in the case of an investigation following a complaint or investigation into misconduct. Electronic communications may also be subject to discovery in litigation and criminal investigations. All information produced on computers, including emails, may be accessible under the Public Records Act. Please note that email messages, even once deleted, may be retrieved from backup systems. Organizations, their employees, and the authors of electronic communications have been held liable for messages that have been sent. District educational technology resources may be accessed or monitored by authorized persons of the district at any time without notice to the user. This includes, but is not limited to, use of district email systems and other electronic documents and records. However, authorized persons must have a valid reason for accessing or monitoring use of district educational technology resources. Responsible use of district educational technology resources also means sending and or publishing statements that are true. District resources must not be used to send material that defames an individual, organization, association, company, or business. The consequences of a defamatory comment may be severe and give rise to personal and or district liability. Electronic communications may be easily copied, forwarded, saved, 
intercepted, or archived. Staff should always remember that an electronic message may meet an unexpected and widespread audience beyond the intended recipient. Responsible use of district technology resources also recognizes the legitimate ownership of another's materials and uses those materials created and or owned by another within copyright fair use guidelines which can be found in District Regulation 2025. The copyright material of third parties, for example, software, database files, documentation, cartoons, articles, graphic files, music files, video files, text and downloaded information must not be used without authorization to do so. The ability to forward and distribute electronic messages and attachments and to share files greatly increases the risk of copyright infringement. Copying material to a hard disk or a removable disk, printing or distributing or sharing copyrighted material by electronic means may give rise to personal and or district liability, despite the belief that the use of such material was permitted. Please always reference the fair use guidelines found in Regulation 2025. Responsible use avoids all offensive and inappropriate uses. The use of district educational technology resources must be appropriate to a workplace and educational environment. This includes, but is not limited, to the content of all electronic communications, whether sent internally within the district or externally to an outside recipient. District educational technology resources must not be used for material that is pornographic, harassing, hateful, racist, sexist, abusive, obscene, discriminatory, offensive or threatening. This includes sexually oriented messages or images and messages that could constitute sexual harassment. Responsible use is sensitive to third parties. Any publicly visible Wi-Fi network emanating from district educational technology resources shall be appropriately named. Similarly, any staff who maintain a publicly visible Wi-Fi network from a personal device shall disable such a Wi-Fi network hotspot while on district property or working with students. At this time, personal device Wi-Fi networks are not authorized as a part of district educational technology resources. In addition, it is recommended as a part of a personal responsible use that any such personal Wi-Fi hotspot, even when disabled, be appropriately named and remain appropriately secure at all times when interaction with students, other staff, parents, or community stakeholders may occur. Responsible use also respects both etiquette and laws governing confidentiality. The district will handle any personal staff or student information collected through the use of district educational technology resources in accordance with state and federal laws including FERPA. It is the responsibility of all staff to take care when handling, using, or transferring personal data that it cannot be accessed by anyone who does not have permission to access that data or does not need to have access to that data. Anyone who has access to personal data must know, understand, and adhere to this regulation. This includes any personal staff or student information that may be stored on a staff member's mobile device for professional use. Responsible use also safeguards passwords so as to not jeopardize privacy and or confidentiality. Users must maintain full supervision and physical control of district educational technology resources, including notebook computers, at all times. When not in use, district educational technology resources should be physically secure as well as secured by password unless otherwise authorized by a building administrator. User identification and passwords must be kept secure and confidential. Passwords must be in approved format of at least six characters and include a letter and a number. Passwords must be changed every six months at a minimum to preserve district educational technology resources, integrity, and security. Users must not allow or facilitate unauthorized access to district educational technology resources through the disclosure or sharing of passwords or other information designed for security purposes, including with students who may be serving as teacher's assistants. This is for any purpose. 
Responsible use is also sensitive to social media and the accordant vulnerabilities associated with such media. Social media, such as Twitter, can be an effective communication tool with students and stakeholders. But caution is warranted when utilizing Twitter on behalf of the district, and certain guidelines are appropriate. Where staff create or maintain Twitter accounts related to the district, staff should follow only members of the team, club, or official activity-related accounts. Under Twitter's configuration, there is no control over what someone will see if they go to the follower as they control how their Twitter account can present itself. This would include photographs and statements in the headline of the other Twitter account. This content can include profanity, inappropriate imagery, as well as other content of concern for the district and its educational mission. This should not impede the ability to communicate with others. Responsible use is also a staff member reflecting on their own online behavior and how it may impact their own safety and reputation. Communications between adults and between students and adults by whatever method should take place within clear and explicit boundaries of District Regulation 5025 and 5253, both of which will be emailed to you for your review. Staff will not share any personal information with a student. Staff will not request or respond to any personal information from the student, other than that which might be appropriate as a part of your professional role or if the child is at immediate risk of harm. Ensure that all communications are transparent and open to scrutiny. Be cautious posting information online that could be viewed as disreputable to you or the district. Be aware of the sanctions that may be applied related to conduct determined to constitute professional misconduct. Email, text, or other web-based communications between staff, volunteers, and a student of the district should take place using district educational technology. Be aware that utilizing personal technology will connect it to district educational technology resources or related to staff professional activities can create disclosable public records. Staff are to maintain adequate supervision of students within the staff member's zone of responsibility. This includes classrooms, libraries, labs, and other facilities depending on the context of student use or educational purpose. Guidelines for supervision should be established and, as appropriate, shared with parents and guardians in advance of use where access will be allowed to non-district educational technology resources for the purposes of communication with non-district staff or students. This includes, but is not limited to, open communication on social media, Twitter, or blogging or posting of dynamic content such as videos to sharing sites like YouTube. Responsible use further safeguards students under the age of 13. In order to ensure compliance with COPA and other relevant federal law regarding confidentiality of student personal information, district staff may not assist or encourage students under the age of 13 or their parents to circumvent a website's restrictions by having parents create an account in the student's name or falsify the student's age in order to create an account. 